This video outlines fermentation of simple sugars, testing this with the Durham tube or what's often called the carbohydrate tube. This is a broth medium. So in the tube you'll notice that you have an additional inverted tube inside which is a glass tube and that is there to catch air bubbles. So we can test for the ability of an organism to ferment a particular simple sugar and we can have different sugars in different tubes. If the organism can ferment that particular sugar we say it has the enzymes with which to do so. We also can look to see if the organism produces gas in the course of fermentation and that's what that inverted glass tube is for inside. Now, the indicator here is phenol red. Phenol red starts out red, which you actually see here on the left. That looks almost like an uninoculated tube, even though it's not. And phenol red uh, will turn yellow if the pH drops when an acid is produced. So here on my lactose tubes on the left, I've got yellow, which indicates acid is produced. The phenol red turned yellow. Any other color, orange, red, that we call that a negative, that the organism does not have the particular enzyme, in this case lactase, to ferment lactose. On the left here we can see that this remained red, so the phenol red did not react with an acid because there was not fermentation of lactose that produced an acid end product. Another thing to note here is that inverted tube. So if that is cleared out at least a third of the way, not just a little bit at the tip, because sometimes that can happen during the manufacturing of the tube, but if there are enough air bubbles to clear out about a third of the tube, we say that the organism can also produce CO2 in the course of fermentation. You would only see this with an acid production, because that's going to be in line with the acid production and the fermentation. Uh, on the right here, you've got uh, the sucrose tubes, the same idea. Again, if an acid is produced, you get a yellow color. Now, on this one, you don't get the air bubbles produced at the top. Put that a little bit closer to see. Yeah, you can see that there's no air bubbles produced there, as opposed to one that does have the air bubbles. You can see the clearing pretty well there, I think. So the yellow product, acid production, phenol red, which is our indicator, turns yellow. So that, in this case, to since sucrose is a simple sugar that's used, we can say that the organism is positive for the fermentation of sucrose, or we can say has the sucrase enzyme. And right next to it here in the red, uh, the red result, that is a negative because, again, we didn't get that acid production. And we can put a variety of simple sugars in different tubes. One nice thing to do with these is to use them in conjunction with a TSI tube, in particular a TSI slant, uh, because TSI has multiple sugars in there. So this can help narrow down or give us additional supporting information as to which sugars are fermented. And that is the carbohydrate fermentation with Durham tube.